Capricorn, welcome to your Just In Time Tarot reading. If you're watching this Capricorn, trust there is a message here for you. If you are a regular, welcome back Cappy. If you are new, welcome. My name is Bronya and I'm an intuitive tarot reader and looking forward to bringing you through this message. Now Capricorn, if you do enjoy it, make sure you like, share, comment, but most importantly, please do hit subscribe as it does let the algorithm robots know that you're interested in this content so others will be able to enjoy it too. Okay, Capricorn, I have pulled the fulfillment card for you. Feeling very nine of cupsy, nine of pentacles, because I know it's number six here, which talks about balance and harmony, but the nines are about fulfillment in terms of numerology. So um, something here might be coming into balance towards fulfillment. Maybe you have been on a you know a long uh, path here, a long windy path. Uh, it feels like a road less traveled. You know, you've been working towards something, but you're about to cross the threshold into the light and light brings growth and light brings illumination and light can really bring understanding. So let's keep going and see which way this is going, Capricorn. We're going to work with the Divine Initiation Oracle and the Ethereal Alchemist Tarot. Uh, you will find the link to both of these beautiful decks down below, Capricorn, if you like to collect your own. All right, what do we have? We've got fire initiation and I pulled the number nine. Yeah, I was feeling it, wasn't I? Okay, fire initiation, right? We think about fire, it's dynamic, it brings potential. It can also alchemize, right? Um, it can change forms. So we could have something changing form, something alchemizing here or some kind of action that you might be receiving or taking towards fulfillment of a hope dream or wish right okay let's keep going there might be a fire sign that's involved uh, aries leo sagittarius as well okay we have got the ten of swords interesting so the ten of swords can be disappointment it can also be um you know burnout maybe you're getting close to going you know what i don't know if i can keep going on this path i'm really burning out and then boom the clarity comes and um you know maybe you have gone through some kind of you know painful completion here with the ten of swords but what's interesting about the ten of swords is that it usually comes with the message that you know there's a new dawn there's a new day like it gives way to new hope and that's sort of what i see through that gateway so you know maybe you're being initiated into uh, a new beginning into new po possibilities here with this energy Capricorn two of wands yeah I mean the two of wands is um it's it's an expansion energy it often talks about is we again somebody at the gateway to the unknown but it feels positive uh it can be a decision that you're waiting on or that you are making to take some kind of leap of faith after a painful ending, or there might be an ending that is involved, for example, a leap of faith might be, I really want to le relocate, but I'm going to have to sacrifice my relationship, or, you know, something like that, or, you know, changing jobs, it means there's other things to give up. So there's something here that, you know, it doesn't necessarily feel easy, but you're doing that for the fulfillment of the greater good. Queen of Cups. Cancer energy for me, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This could be someone that you're getting advice from. It's usually a compassionate, empathetic, or intuitive person with feminine energy, right? It could be a mother, mother-in-law, sister, psychic, or therapist type of vibe here. And the hanged woman, yeah. So I get a, a strong sense here that you are at a, a crossroads or a point on this path, right? But you're really close to fulfillment. Maybe you were thinking about giving up Ten of Swords. And Spirit is saying, no, no, we just need to push to the edges of the envelope, right? The Hanged Man is always about looking for clarity on how to move forward. So maybe you got to a block or a sticking point and Spirit is going to drop in that insight for you, whether it comes uh, you know, intuitively through somebody else or that you receive the answer to the decision that you you know we're trying to to make here six of cups yeah the number six energy coming through and this is growth this is connection um if by any chance this did relate to you know a partnership that you were going to give up on this is saying you know this can come back together 
I mean, it's even possible with the Queen of Cups, you were trying to fulfill like a conception goal, like having a baby, uh, adopting a child, birthing a child, whatever it may be. And there's been, you know, a lot of disappointment and we know that that can play a real, you know, take a real toll on a relationship. And it's something to do with maybe a future plan that's been stuck or, you know, like I said, there's something that I feel is, you know, two of wands can be that future planning and something's blocked that. But six of cups, it's coming back around. Well, we have growth, we have connection, we have this coming into balance, fire initiation, the potential coming back in, coming back around for you. So that's what I'm feeling. And I think that's um, exciting energy. Yeah, page of wands. So the page of wands um, here is usually associated with good news. But again, it's like at the end of a road or when we're in the desert, right? And then finally we see the oasis, but it's not, it's not an oasis. It's actually tangible result. So the Page of Wands, you know, is the fire initiation. It's the Ace of Wands, the baton being passed to us. Okay, you've passed the divine test. Now I can give you the result, right? So incredible news. I think it's an affirm affirmative news. And again, we see the gateway after a long journey. And you might ask, why does spirit want me to suffer or wanted me to go through that challenge? Well, there are life lessons that we are always learning, right, for our growth. But it feels like you are at the end of that now. So you can cross over and get that result. So whether it is around the conception of, you know, child, family, some kind of uh, goal here, location, business, it is going to be different for all of you. But it feels like it has real emotional charge to it. I just feel that that potential is finally about to be realized for you, Capricorn. So I will leave it there. If you'd like to follow up with a personal reading, the first link down below will pop you over to my website where you can, you know, check out what is on offer there. I'll also link you to my Instagram and TikTok accounts where I'm really uh, active and interactive with different daily content. And I'm just wishing you so much love and magic, Capricorn. Do take care. Bye for now.